Hello, this is Jack Willett, and this is my progress report for optimization of visiting the national parks in the contiguous United States. The problem that I'm solving is to find an optimal routes to visit all 50 national parks in the contiguous U.S. This is solved uh, using code based off MATLAB's traveling salesman problem example. The two cases that I'm analyzing are to find one optimal route to visit all the national parks in one trip with one salesman. And the second is to find optimal routes with n number of salesmen such that no tour is less than five days or more than 44 days. The progress I've made is I've obtained a list of the national parks and removed parks uh, without visitor centers in the contiguous United States. I found the latitude and longitude points for each visitor center and recreated a crude border of the US in terms of latitude and longitude, which was not present in the original MATLAB example. I found an optimum route for case one, which is presented on the next slide. I determined how to calculate the trip distance from latitude and longitude points using the degrees to statute miles from MATLAB's mapping toolbox, which improves the accuracy from the original example because it includes the curvature of the Earth in distance, cal the distance calculation. And I set up specific outputs for trip distance and total trip time, assuming 24 hours of each. This is my solution for case one with a total distance of 11,508.4 miles total travel time of 1,391.8 hours or 58 days, assuming an average speed of 60 miles an hour and 24 hours at each park, and the absolute gap of the solution is zero, indicating an optimal solution. The tasks still to complete are to implement the time constraints for case two, determine how to set the same start and end point for every trip, perform the case two analysis, identify trips, if any, that may provide a basis for a state tourism campaign, Clean up the MATLAB to improve readability, investigate methods to improve plot readability, such as adding data labels or unique markers with a legend, document my findings into a final report, and discuss limitations in this analysis and possible future work. Thank you.